Hey everybody, Arfeelis here. Welcome back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Last time we did the Battle Tower and all that fun stuff, we went over it quite a little bit, and this time we'll be continuing on going through the wild area, doing some more miscellaneous things here and there. So one thing I should probably make in uh, a Deniamon, since I kind of uh, neglected it a little bit, is that with the Battle Tower, th the number of battles you have to do between waves increases depending on... Um, Depends on the uh, rank you rank up, like beginner ranks 2, Pokeball is 3, Great Ball is like 4, Ultra is 5, and then Master is probably going to be 6 or so. So it will go up the uh, more you do things, so... Yeah, so yeah, so the more you uh, do it, the more ranks you go up, the longer you will have to uh, battle before you get a break and you upgrade to the next one, so... Something to keep in mind as things go on, so... Yeah, something I should probably uh, make a mention on now, while well, my brain is kind of thinking about it. So this time, we are going to be doing some cleanup around the world, doing some miscellaneous things here and there across the area, before moving on to the Isle of Armor. First stop is going to be here on Route 9. I kind of made a mention of this before, but I guess it doesn't open up until I think now we can do the fight. At least I think now, because somewhere around the city, yes, here we have Marnie here. Orph, you look a little more champion-like, huh? Only a little though. What are you gawking at? It's exactly what you think. I look wicked as a gym leader, right? I want to show you, show everyone that even if you can't Dynamax, you can still use other tactics to have a lot of fun. Come on, champ. How about an exhibition match? You're on. Don't get the wrong idea. This ain't using. This ain't you using me for training. I'm using you for training. Got it? Alright, and now begins our rematch against Marnie. Marnie is starting up with Lightbird, level 59. Pranks are for the ability moves, Fake Out, Torment, Nasty Plot, and Snarl. So one thing I should mention though is that at this point, the Galar uh, tournament is now available for you to go through. Because of that though... Yeah, I knew that, that they would do that, so um... Yeah, yeah, use your Snarl, like I care. So yes, one thing I should mention though about the Marnie rematch is now... Is that with Marnia uh, in the rematch state, um, her team is actually going to be identical to the one she uses in the Galar tournament. So, the Galar tournament is now available for you to use, well, I guess, pretty much any time in the post game. And because of that, you're able to go through the tournament as you see fit. Oh no, I can't use the same move over and over again. Yeah, Prankster is a really good ability. <laughs> So yeah, you know, it's me as the 71 now. One thing I should mention though is that I actually gave a lot of the Pokemon some mints just to diversify things a little bit. Next up is Grimmsnarl, level 60, Franks for the building new Spirit Break, Darkest Larry, Bulk Up, and Play Rough. So once again, this one, she will level up her team once you get to the, uh, well, she keeps the same team as the uh, Galar World Tournament, so another thing to keep in mind. Another thing I should mention though is that there will be coming a, a point in the post game where our teams are going to level up. Like, Viper was, was 59, a level up to level 73 once you've pretty much completed all the post story in all the DLC areas. Grim Star will have been 74 there. And your Spartoon is level 70? <laughs> yeah. Next up, Toxicroak. Toxicroak is level 59 slash 72. Dry skin for the ability to use Drain Punch, Gunk Shot, Earthquake, and Poison Jab. Well. Yeah, Torment's still up, so, uh, close combat! Even though it's resisted, I got a plus one. Oh, wow. I thought that would've been one-shot. Oh, well. But yeah, I do like, I do like Marnie's, uh, Reimagine Bloods. It's using the same stadium as it was back in the, uh, in the main game, too, so. Another cool little detail there. Alright, next up, more Peko. I don't really care. More Peko is level 60 slash 73. Hunger switch for the ability to use Aura Wheel, Seed Bomb, Torment, and Quick Attack. So, uh, yeah. I'm set up to sweep. Farewell. Yeah, her rematch is honestly not too hard because you just got done with Hop also, which is a much stronger team. The area rematch is kind of there. Lastly, it's going to be Scrafty, level 59 slash 72, which that's getting for the ability. Ice, ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Drain Punch, and Crunch. So, uh, yeah. 
Still can't use that. Um, Surf for glory. Yeah, very defensive. Like, I think in the post game they're using a uh, perfect IV team teams now, so. Hurry for bulkier teams, I guess. Jersey Torment, I guess I have to uh, finish this out with the close combat. GG, Marnie. Don't underestimate the spark, the, sp the platoon of Spartoon. Anyways, alright, guys, is level nice. And Flahair is level 72. Yeah, I lost, but I'm going to learn from your battle style and everything. Set up and sweep. That is my strategy. As expected, you're a proper champion, ain't you, Orf? Okay, I'm going to give you something important, so keep it safe or I'll get mad, got it? And we obtain Marnie's League card, the last League card of the game. I guess the rare one's for the base game. So because of this, once a day you'll be able to rematch her. You'll make any time you're free, I don't mind training against you. So once a day you'll be able to rematch Marnie as you see fit, so... Hooray, I guess. So that there is more or less the last DLC... Th I guess the last base thing... Uh, base game thing to mention though. So yeah, so at this point, really the rest of the world is available for you to do. Pretty much it's just clean up mode, do max raids and all that stuff. And yeah, so the last thing to note though is going to be here up into the uh, Wind on Stadium. Since I'm just going to mention this now because things are going to change a little bit heading on forward. And I didn't mean to step in here. I mean, I, I, yeah, I already bought everything. I don't really need to really bother too much. So the next thing to note though, it's going to be over here inside the stadium. Coming on over here, okay, I guess he doesn't come on until the post game. So yeah, so here we get ourselves the uh, Pokemon World Tournament. So we can go ahead and give you a thing. So once you start here, you, there is someone in particular you can invite. So as long as you have the uh, rare card for them, you'll be able to invite them for a round or so. Um... Yeah, let's go fight Kabu. Okay then, so we'll be getting started with this. I'm not going over everyone's teams right now. I'll be going over everyone's teams once we have uh, done everything. So yeah, so at the start here, um, I'm going to prove everyone be beyond doubt that bug type Pokemon are strong and competitive. So doing the, the uh, Pokemon World Tournament, there's uh, different teams you can fight here now. Gym Challenger, uh, Flair. So, as it turns out that there are some trainers that actually managed to get on through and do some other things. Also, I, uh, I've never seen this trainer model before. Alright then, Ribombi. Yeah, about that. So yeah, so these trainers, they can be a little bit tough. They're kind of the strongest trainers in the game, so... You gotta be, uh, wary of that. Alright then, so... Oh, that didn't kill. I'm just going through my notes, so yeah. So every trainer, they do have a different, uh, fight for you to do. Yeah, so Leon's going to be the strongest trainer here who's level 70. So yeah, so he's kind of the soft super boss there and the hardest one. Hop is also in the uh, tournament and he'll have a level 70 uh, Zacian or Zamazenta depending on version. Alright then. Next up is going to be Vika Volt. Oh yeah, I can switch freely now. So yeah, so Hop he will have his uh, level 70 team. So yeah, fun with that. As for Bede, his team is going to be consisting in the low to mid 60s, about 62 to 63. Um, Milo will have uh, a team in the 60s, but he will have a uh, different team come in the uh, post post story. I don't think we'll be fighting him right now, but later on we might. Nice miss. Um, I think Milo's the only one that actually changes his team up when you get to the uh, World Tournament, so. When you get to the Star Tournament. So yeah, so another thing to mention though is that you make a lot of money here. One of the strategies that was done a long time ago before the, uh, I guess before some other updates came out. Was that you could bring a Gigantamax, um, Meowth in. And the Gigantamax Meowth would be able to, uh, kind of clean house from there. Um, Rosaline, I guess. 
Yeah, Gigantamax Meowth's strategy was to give it an amulet coin, let it use three turns of max money, or I guess it's a special G-Max move for the G-Max Meowth. He was just raking a lot of money here and there. Also, my brain is still on uh, Battle Tower mode, so yeah. Yeah, this is actually a very interesting thing, though, because these trainers, they are the ones that kind of made it through all the gyms because they need all the gyms in order to actually get here. So, yeah. My brain is on the fritz today, okay? I wasn't expecting to actually go through go through with this. All right, there we go. Gauss is seventy. Next up, or Beetle. Um. Yeah, let's send a power guys. Yeah, so he is a generic trainer, and yeah, he has a lot of pretty strong teams too. Um, just trying to see some other uh, different trainers. So there are special trainers that have different teams for the. Uh, I guess the standard tournament, they have different teams there that they use. Um, Brain Think, one of every single type too that's not of the gym leaders. This trainer here is the Bug Trainer, which there were no Bug uh, gym leaders in the game. So there's one for Bug, there's one for uh, Flying. Yep, uh, Vega is a, uh, I guess another water type trainer. So there's a trainer for every single type, I guess. There's one for Rock, one for Fighting. It's actually really interesting that there are special specialty trainers that have their own uh, models and everything. As for the uh, actual boss fights, I'm not actually going over them. Um, Glycopod, I should probably get you out of there. The reason why I'm not going over every single uh, trainer is because there is a Glorian Star Tournament, which is the end goal of the game. So once you have pretty much done everything, the Star Tournament will open up, and most teams, save for Milo, will have a different team for that. They'll have the same team, just different levels, so I'm just saving everything for one big finale. Alright, there we are. Alright, Vita Pelea. This one really bugs me. Alright, I mean, there are different ways to be strong, right? I'm, I try not to let Luzin bring me down. People say I've got a tough spirit. However, though, the generic trainers, they have no way of winning. Also, we got Rayhan here. Oh, Milo versus Rayhan! Alright then, so Kabu will be a guaranteed trainer that you fight. So that's how the, uh... How the specialty rare cards work is that if you have their rare card, you'll be able to invite them and there'll be a guaranteed fight against the thing. The tournament ends when you lose. Whoever can keep up the heat will win. Alright. Hello there, uh, Kabu. We have not fought before in the tournament. Also, my uh, TV mic's broke. Kabu is an interesting fight because he starts up with the uh, Drought Torkoal, so yeah. I love it when trainers bring in their own specialty gimmick to the fights. Yeah, once again, I'm not going over everyone's bios. Simply because they they are pretty much the same once you get a post story. It'll make things a lot easier. Alright, so who was the change in the post story? Alright, next up, Titan Tails. And once again, I'm not really focusing on the teams. Okay, it's the loss of to Serena for uh, Milo. Yeah, Milo's the only strange one strange case that has a different team, but. I ain't too concerned. So yes, the solar beam is going to be one turn charge for this, which is really powerful, and this is going to hurt. Ow. That didn't do too much. I guess that tells they aren't really known for their special attack. More of their special defense. Alright, there we go. Our guys is 70, Kremuse is 72. So strong. All right, next up, Salazzle. Yeah, I'll keep you in. Like, what do you have, Solar Beam also? Eh, probably. Or maybe Foul Play. Flamethrower! I actually don't have everyone's notes up. Ow! Alright. 
can uh, heal up a little bit. I really wish I had a different Pokemon on, on um, I actually want to keep you up in, uh, heal since, well, you actually might have Crunch. Eh? Actually, I was noticing he doesn't have Crunch on Arcanine. Just a, just an Intimidate, I guess. Hooray for healing strats, I guess. Um, do I have healing items? I even buy, buy healing. Okay, I do have a couple. I should probably buy some more pretty soon. There we go. Flare Blitz! That was a nice recoil. Alright, with leftovers, um, I should be able to get the kill here. If I can actually menu, that is. Ouch. Alright, there we go. Arcanine's down. Yeah, these trainers aren't really all too hard. Really, the only hard one is Leon and, uh, especially Ha. At least the sun's down, so... Last Pokemon should be a little easier to take through, hopefully. Send a Scorch. I don't really have good, uh... Well, I have Bounce here. Yeah. Really, only the, uh, the only real difficult trainers in the, uh, tournament is Hop and Leon. Hello there, good old Sinisport. She was level 62. Yeah, at some point I should probably go through and continue my bios. Um, let's go for bounce. Wow, not even saying anything. I like your deadpan snarl. He's like, alright, time to burn the stadium down. Sinisport, Gigantamax. It was fun trying to voice all the different characters. And I did use Sin Scorch before in a, let's pl in a uh, previous playthrough, and it was actually kind of fun. Dodge tanking! <laughs> Embrace the darkness. Yeah, sorry Sin Scorch, you are good, but you're not OP good. Alright, have a pirate ball to the face. Oh crap, you have flash fire. I thought you had your other signature ability. Well, I guess I'm flying now. No, seriously, I thought he had his uh, other ability, white smoke. I kind of clicked away from the page for my notes. That's a flash. No, flash. I, I don't know, I'm stupid. Alright, I'm taking to the skies. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm in critical range. Alright, at least the layer is 73. Get Pokemon and a great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Alright. Did Milo beat Rayhan? Of course not! Because Milo's a joke! <laughs> Still surprising that Milo actually beat someone because Milo's considered one of the worst. And also Rayon, um, oh wait, no, that was Pia, not Piers. Okay, what do I want to do for Rayon since Rayon's going to be a interesting character? Um, alright, looks like he's starting up the same strategy as before. More or less the same team, okay. Alright, Rayon, it's been a while. I'm going to feed the champion, win the whole tournament, and prove the world just how strong the great Rayon really is. Alright, now we're fighting up against Rayon. Rayon's going to be using more or less the same team as he did in the base game. The only difference, though, is going to be level, so... Because we're so high leveled, we don't really need to worry about Drought too much. And plus, this AI is going to prefer using, uh... Using, uh... Using a Weather Moose to be start things out, so... You know, honestly, it would have been cool if he started up with the Tyranitar or Hippowdon for the fight. And just focus on one weather instead of them all, which is kind of the weakness of Rayon. 
He likes his brother, but he's too ind indecisive. Next up is going to be Gudra. Do I have anything good for Gudra? Eh, not really. Well, I mean, you're more of a special attacker anyways. I do like Gudra. I really wish I had a 3DS capture card because I really wanted to let's play through Pokemon X and Y. X and Y is one of my favorite Pokemon games in general, but... Because of how expensive 3DS capture cards are anymore... I mean, everything's super goddamn expensive. Life do! Hold the phone! Hold the phone! When did you have life do? Um, you're supposed to have Rain Dance, Thunder, Hydro Pump, and Sludge Bomb. Um, did I uncover a glitch or something like that? Uh, Turtonator, I'll go ahead and switch out. I was not expecting that. Alright, where is Tournament at? Okay. That. Oh no, shell trap. This is gonna hurt. Or not. There we go. Alright, guys, leveled up. Next step's gonna be Flygon. I'm totally not looking at my notes or anything. Okay, that's weird. Okay, guess one said notes was a little bit off. So it is life to instead of, of uh, that. Conflicting sources. Gotta love them. For me, it was like a weird update where they accidentally changed his moveset. Oh, well, now we gotta deal with Sandstorm. Yep. It's Martoon 72. Alright, next up is lastly is Duraludon. Um Eh sure, why not? You're essentially using the same team as before, so I'm in autopilot mode, I guess. Yeah, yeah, do your fancy uh Gigantamax. I got Earth Power. Not even saying something interesting. Yeah, that's been one kind of one of those disjointed episodes. I don't know, just with the just spacing things, I kind of want to do a little bit of a full of thing. Mostly just wrapping up the rest of the region. G Max Depletion! Don't delete me. I haven't used anything yet. Oh well, farewell. Gigantamax is overrated anyways. There we go. Alright, loss is real. Alright then. And we've won! Hooray! Congratulations on another victory! Please take a reward. And from this, you're in a real world champion. Let me offer my ultra great congratulations. All right, so your first win for the day results in a wishing piece. Every subsequent win has a different reward depending on how well you do. So, so the other rewards you're able to get here, uh, if I'll scroll up my notes, include the other other ones of the uh, rare balls. So, so guaranteed one per day. And then the other options you have includes the beast ball, pretty much all the other fancy balls, flame orb, life orb. Pretty much anything that looks like a ball, it's a reward also. You also have a chance of getting 100 Pokeballs, 3 Quick Balls, a uh, Rare Candy, Toxic Orb, all that fun stuff. Sadly though, Master Ball is not included in this thing. So that is one of the other sources you are able to get for the for more, uh, I guess, uh, Friend Balls and those other uh, Rare Apricot Balls. So yeah, that's more or less the uh, tournament. You'll be able to rematch that as many times as you like. So, the last thing to note, though, is going to be here in, um, Holberry. 
Now the Let's Play was originally going to go for the thing, but as if there was not any DLC, this would have been the last episode because there's nothing really else in the base game. We've done everything that we possibly could. So yeah, so the last thing to note though is going to be over here inside the tournament. Right over here we have this group here, so you can talk to these guys. And they'll be uh, like, growl, and talk to them. The Pokemon Band the Maximizer is amazing live, wanna watch? I'm good, I don't need to sit through the credits again. No thank you. Right then, come back here if you want to get maximized. So the thing with this uh, statue here is that talking to him, you will be able to view the credits once again. Kind of weird how it was, kind of like the uh, Ranger games, where if you want to see the credits again, you have to go to a random tr random NPC, somewhere that's pretty far away and remote. Also, I did not notice the uh, lighthouse up there with the uh, Pico up there, so... Hooray, I guess! So that's kind of the last thing to note, though. Because this would have been the last episode, except not really. So, with this all done, next time in Pokemon Sword and Shield, we begin the post-story of the Isle of Armor, more or less doing a little bit of cleanup work in the changes that occurred if you were to do the post-story in the epilogue. Or I guess post-story, I guess the entire Isle of Armor in the post-story. So, I will see you all in the next episode. Sorry for this random disjointed episode that made no sense. Just, listen to the latest stuff, and things are going to get chaotic next time.